Given f of x equals three minus six x squared, determine the following. We first want to determine f of a. Notice for f of a, the input is a. To determine f of a, we replace x in the original function with a. And therefore, f of a is equal to three minus six a squared. To determine f of the quantity a plus h, the input is now a plus h, which means we replace x and f of x with a plus h. f of the quantity a plus h is equal to three minus six times the square of a plus h. So this is f of the quantity a plus h. But let's go ahead and expand the right side. There are no shortcuts here. We have two factors of a plus h, and therefore we have three minus six times a plus h times a plus h. And now let's multiply the two binomials. When multiplying two binomials, we have four products. Here we distribute a, and then we distribute h. Let's show that below. a times a is a squared, and then plus a times h, which gives us plus a h. Distributing h, we have plus h times a, which gives us another plus a h and then plus h times h, which gives us plus h squared. Notice here we do have two like terms. a h plus a h is two a h. This gives us three minus six times the quantity a squared plus two a h plus h squared. The next step is to clear the parentheses, and because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing negative six. We have three and then negative six times a squared is negative six a squared, giving us minus six a squared. And then negative six times two a h is negative 12 a h, giving us minus 12 a h. And then finally negative six times h squared gives us minus six h squared. So now we have f of a and f of the quantity a plus h. We're asked to determine the quotient here, which is called the difference quotient. Well, we already have f of the quantity a plus h and f of a, we just have to find the difference and then divide by h. Let's put the two functions in parentheses. For f of the quantity a plus h, we have three minus six a squared minus 12 a h minus six h squared, and then minus f of a, again in parentheses, we have three minus six a squared. It is important that we have parentheses around f of a to show that we are subtracting the entire function. Without the parentheses, we would only be subtracting the three, not the negative six a squared. All this is over h, and now we clear the parentheses in the numerator. For the first set of parentheses, we can just drop them or think of distributing a positive one, but because of the subtraction, we have to subtract each of the two terms in f of a, or think of distributing a negative one. In the numerator, we have three minus six a squared minus 12 a h minus six h squared, and then minus three plus six a squared. Notice negative one times positive three is negative three giving us minus three, and negative one times negative six a squared is positive six a squared giving us plus six a squared. All this is still over h. And now in the numerator, notice how we have some terms that are opposites. Three minus three is zero, and negative six a squared plus six a squared is also zero. So we only have two terms left in the numerator. And notice how the common factor of the two terms is h. Let's go ahead and factor out the common factor of h. This is equal to h times the quantity negative 12a minus 6h. Notice if we distribute h, we still have negative 12ah minus 6h squared. The reason we want to factor out the common factor of h is because of the h in the denominator. In this form, h divided by h simplifies to one. And therefore the final difference quotient is negative 12a minus 6h. If this factoring method was confusing, I do want to show a second method. If we didn't factor the numerator, we would have had negative 12ah minus 6h squared all over h. And because we're dividing by a monomial, we can divide each term by h to simplify negative 12 ah divided by h minus six h squared divided by h. And now if we simplify each fraction separately, h divided by h simplifies to one, 
And for the second fraction, one factor of h simplifies to one. The h in the denominator simplifies to one. The h squared in the numerator simplifies to h to the first. Notice how this does leave us with negative 12a minus 6h, which is the same result. I hope you found this helpful.